So for this lesson, we'll be talking about a uh, acceleration time graph. These are the learning objectives. Um, mainly we'll be looking at the shape of the acceleration time graph when the body is moving with uh, uniform acceleration and non-uniform acceleration. Mm, acceleration time graph describes the acceleration of the object with respect to time. So through acceleration time graph, we can interpret and deduce the velocity of the object. So we'll be looking at the acceleration time graph for the following movement. Uh, the first two is actually quite simple. Okay, at rest and moving with uniform velocity. Then we'll be moving on to moving with uniform acceleration and moving with non-uniform acceleration. So for at rest at uniform velocity, they are the same. You find that the acceleration time graph is simply just a flat line at zero. Um, object at rest at or at uniform velocity actually do not change the velocity. So uh, if you recall, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Since there isn't any change, then there is no acceleration. So acceleration will remain at zero at all times uh, for object when they are at rest or when they are moving with uniform velocity. So uh, for positive uniform acceleration means that it's changing its velocity at a positive rate. So you have something like this. Um, it's also a flat line, but maybe it has a starting value of, let's say, uh, 1.5. So the graph describes object having a uniform velocity, uh, sorry, acceleration of 1.5 meters uh, per second square. It means that it's changing its velocity by 1.5 meters every second. So acceleration time is a flat line of uh, at 1.5 meters per second. So uh, for uniform acceleration, how do the velocity time graph of uh, it looks like? It really depends on the starting velocity of the object. So, but the starting velocity can be zero. It can be a positive velocity or it could be a negative velocity. Uh, it doesn't matter. You find that the shape of all these three starting velocity, the shape of it would be uh, of a velocity time graph will still be a straight line with a positive gradient. Uh, it is because uh, of the gradient is a constant. Uh, positive value. It seems like stating obvious, but it is because acceleration uh, is the gradient of a velocity time graph. Okay, from our previous lesson, we established that acceleration is the gradient of the velocity time graph. So if you have velocity starting from zero, you find that uh, uh, having a constant acceleration of plus 1.5, A equals to plus 1.5, you simply just add 1.5, add 1.5, add 1.5, add 1.5, add 1.5, and, and so on. So generally, um, that is the uh, velocity time graph of a uniform acceleration of 1.5. But if you start at your velocity at 2, then you find that it is just simply uh, shifting up the straight line. Okay, you start from 2, you plus 1.5, plus 1.5, plus 1.5, plus 1.5, and so on. Or if you start from negative 2, you just shift it down. So you find that all the velocity time graph is a straight line with uh, positive gradient in this case is 1.5 and acceleration is uh, the gradient of this velocity time graph. So for negative uniform acceleration, uh, it is the opposite. It has a negative value of acceleration, negative 1.5. So uh, it means that it will change its velocity by negative 1.5 meters per second every second. So acceleration time graph similarly is a flat line, but this time now it starts from negative 1.5. So if we likewise the velocity time graph of a negative uh, uniform acceleration also depends on the starting velocity of the object. As usual, it will be zero. It can be zero, uh, positive or negative. I think you might have already inferred uh, velocity time graph will also be a straight line, but this time round it will be a negative value. Since acceleration this time round is a negative value, the gradient will be a negative slope. So it will look like something like this. If we start from zero then it will negative 1.5, negative 1.5 for every one second, so it will go in this manner. So if you start from positive, what will happen is that you just shift the entire straight line up, okay, and you find that uh, you will also arrive at the negative gradient and by in a straight line. If it's uh, negative, val uh, neg starting from negative, you find that you will be something like that. Okay, right now let's m move on to the non-uniform acceleration. This is a sample 
uh, non-uniform acceleration graph, we keep it simple by making a straight line. Of course, it can be uh, more complicated like a curve, but we just keep it simple. It's a straight line. Okay, a sim so this is a simple example of non-uniform acceleration time graph, a straight line acceleration time graph. Uh, non-uniform acceleration means that the acceleration of the object changes over time, and the graph shows that the acceleration of the object changes by 2 meter per second square per second. So I want to highlight that the object is not only changing its velocity, but it's also changing its rate of velocity changing. Seems quite complicated, but let's just use an example to help you to understand uh, what is happening if you have uniform acceleration and non-uniform acceleration. So if you have uniform acceleration of 2 meter per second square, what will happen is that at different timings the velocity will change. So you but the change will be constant. Plus two, plus two, plus two. Okay? But if there's acceleration changing at uh two meter per second square per second, what it actually means is that for every one second it actually changes its acceleration. Okay, plus two, this one is plus four, this is plus six, plus eight, plus ten. Okay, so you realize that the change in velocity is, uh, the rate of changing of its velocity is also changing. So instead of a constant plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, it's plus 2, plus 4, plus 6, plus 8, plus 10. Okay, how does that impact in terms of a velocity time graph? How will it look like? If we do a comparison of velocity time graph comparing uniform and non-uniform acceleration, as just now, a uniform acceleration will be a straight line, as illustrated from our uh, previous slides. But a non-uniform acceleration, as in uh, 2 meters per second square per second, you find that this will be the graph. It looks like a curve. Okay, and it makes sense because remember, acceleration is the gradient of a velocity time graph. You find that at different points, the acceleration, or oh, sorry, the gradient is getting steeper and steeper as time goes by, which means that the acceleration is having a higher and higher value. So generally, a uniform acceleration graph, which is a flat line that is non-zero, would have a straight line velocity time graph. As, as explained, it is because acceleration is the gradient of the velocity time graph. So since acceleration is uniform, which means that the gradient is uniform or constant, which means that it must be a straight line. But a straight line uh, acceleration time graph would have a velocity time graph that is a curve, as illustrated in the previous slide. It's because since acceleration is always changing. Remember, it's the non-uniform acceleration is changing. Uh, the gradient of the velocity time graph is always changing, and when gradient changes, always changes, it will lead to a curve.